guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So good to have you here. So yes, I know. This right going on right here, this is so annoying. I don't know where it came from or why my skin decided to just break out really badly, but I have a couple of really bad blemishes right now and this one in particular is like taking over my face. It's also one of those blemishes that the more you try to like cover it up, it just looks worse and worse and worse. So at this point, I think that my best option is just to leave it the hell alone. But yes, it's there and it's very distracting and annoying. Anyway guys, so last night I got back from work and I was so dead tired. Like I just did not feel like being in the kitchen or cooking for myself. I almost ordered out, but I had some ingredients in my, fr in my fridge and I was just like, you know what? Now let's go ahead and toss them together and try to make something delicious and quick and healthy and vegan and all of that. So I decided to make this rice bowl that uses these roasted chickpeas and kale and mushrooms and it could not have been easier to make. It was so quick, so simple, and it was delicious, guys. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and share this recipe with you in case any of you guys are ever having those nights where you just don't feel like cooking for yourself but you really want to you know not order out and you want something healthy and delicious that's going to take very very few ingredients and very little time. So the first thing that I did in order to make this rice bowl was I obviously cooked my rice and for the rice I used this one that's called sprouted red rice and I had never seen it before but I actually found it in the store and decided to try it out instead of regular brown rice and I'm so glad I did. It was delicious. It's a lot like a mix between brown rice and white wild rice. It has like a nutty flavor and like an al dente texture. It was really lovely. I really liked it. So I went ahead and added in a cup of it into my rice cooker along with two cups of water and just let that chill out and cook. So as that was cooking up, I decided to go ahead and roast my chickpeas. And for this, you'll just want a can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas as they're also called. And you want to drain and rinse them. And then to roast these up, I just grabbed a baking dish and lined it with some aluminum foil and then poured my chickpeas in there and drizzled it with a little bit of oil and then in order to give these chickpeas kind of like a buttery cheesy flavor I added some nutritional yeast which you can find really anywhere in bulk at your grocery store and it has a lot of B vitamins so I try to add it whenever I can to my food so I just went ahead and sprinkled that right over the top of my chickpeas and then popped it into the oven on 350 for about half an hour and as my rice and my chickpeas were cooking I decided to go ahead and get started on the vegetables so in order to flavor this rice dish you're gonna want to go ahead and chop up about three to four cloves of garlic depending on how much you like and then about a fourth of a shallot or if you don't have shallots or if you can't find them a regular yellow onion will work but I just went ahead and chopped those up and added it into a big frying pan along with a little bit of oil and I just let that kind of sizzle and cook up until it got a little bit more translucent and brown and then while that was cooking up a little bit I went ahead and started my mushrooms and for my mushrooms I used these small baby Bella mushrooms mushrooms and I just roughly chopped it into quarters and added that into my pan along with my garlic and my shallots and let that cook down a little bit. After my onions, my shallots, and my mushrooms were starting to cook up a little bit, I went ahead and decided to grab my kale. And this is optional, but I don't really like the rib or the, that thick stalk that's down the middle of kale leaves. And so I just ran my fingers really gently over it and it just popped right out. So I took those out and I went ahead and roughly chopped up all that kale with a knife. And I know that this looks like a really daunting big amount of kale but don't be too intimidated by it because once you throw it in your frying pan it's going to cook down and kind of wilt so it looks like a lot but really once it cooks down it's not. So once all my vegetables were cooked up I went ahead and checked on my chickpeas and took them out of the oven and you don't want them like burnt or like super crispy or anything you just want them to be a little bit golden over the top. So I went ahead and took those out and added those into my pan and then by that time my red rice was done cooking so I just tossed that into the pan as well and then in order to season this it could not get any easier. You're only going to need three ingredients. You want to go ahead and pick up some low sodium soy sauce. If you don't have low sodium soy sauce, then um, regular soy sauce will work just fine. You just want to use less of it. For this recipe, I used about one to two tablespoons of the low sodium soy sauce. I don't really know. I don't really measure anything. I just kind of drizzled it over the top and gave it a toss and tried it out and it worked. So just make sure to taste test this to make sure it doesn't get too salty for you. And then also you're going to want the juice of 
half a lemon. So I just squeeze that right over the top, again, tossing it in. And then this is totally optional, but the third seasoning that I used was some cayenne pepper. And I just gave it a few shakes over the top, tossed that together, and literally that completed this recipe. This recipe is so simple. It uses way less than, I think, 10 ingredients, and it doesn't take longer than half an hour to make. So if you're really, really dead tired after work or after school, or just in general, you're not feeling like going into the kitchen and spending all your time there, this is a great recipe because it's filling, it's healthy, it's delicious, obviously it's completely vegan, but it's also really simple and quick to make. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Like I said, it was a really simple, really quick one, and so this is kind of a quick video, but I hope that you guys like this sort of thing. If you want me to share more of these really simple, quick, easy vegan meals, go ahead and hit the like button, that way I know to make more like it. And feel free to leave a comment, especially if you're new. Holy crap, I forgot to mention, welcome to my channel if you're new, and um, yeah, get in on this discussion, like leave a comment or a like or whatever you want. I love hearing back from you guys. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care guys, bye.